Sup guys, BB Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're gonna continue with some more of One Piece with anime episode 1052. いざ いざ Almost forgot my fan. So do go there. Me life not even Oh shoot, I don't know if I just saw a preview. But I didn't see much. It was just Kaido fighting Luffy, so I guess this episode will continue that. Full power attacks collide. Oh, yeah, show us the script when he learns to fly. I love it was Yamato to teach him, since Yamato is like Odin, his dad. Yeah. Open your eyes. I think he was just so excited, he's just uh, crying, so his eyes are closed for that. But wow, I forgot how beautiful that looked. Flame clouds. Wow, that was so gorgeous. La 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 Oh my goodness. I heard nothing. Dun da 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 da
isn't it too early to play this song? Da -da -da. Da -da 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 like you're supposed to play this song at the end of a victory. I mean, yeah, he learned to fly, but you know, Onigashima is still coming, so I don't know if that was the right song to play, but it's okay. Nay. Man, this soundtrack, now it fits right here. Like, it's giving me the feeling of flight and Luffy's inspirational words. I feel lifted and energized. Let's go! Alright, that was a uh, kind of a long preview slash uh, flashback, but... Dun, 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 dun. Now this song is the right to play. It's like we're preparing the comeback, the fight back. Skimmy Dango! And it's the year of the rabbit. We'll let you handle that part. Or just let him dodge it. Yeah, just a good practice. Unless you get hit. But I think his body is hard like a dragon, so... Yeah, or... <laughs> Need more practice. <laughs> Onigashima is descending. The island is collapsing. Oh. Mmm. I see, I see. I mean, if like the rock parts fall, at least like the main Onigashima will still fall on the capital, so. Yeah, he's having a little bit of trouble with Luffy!
All right, I'm almost turning around. Oh my God, he's going straight. He's charging straight for it. Is he able to alter Kaido's cloud pathway? Or if you slowly break more of the island. Damn, they're so close. It's gonna head down in a few minutes. Less than five minutes. Yeah, because you got the same dragon fruit as Kaido. Although his is artificially made. It's, uh... You must create more powerful flame clouds. See? I mean, he's weakened by Luffy, so a little more you could move it. Maybe it'll land on Okobore Town. <laughs> Yikes. Hopefully not. Yeah, but everyone should should be in the capital area. Because, like, it's the big day for the festival and Kaido's not around. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be up to you, Momo. Oh, it's gonna explode. Radiation. Mm. So you gotta make it land safely. Okay. It's gotta fall in the water then. We got five minutes of happiness, uh, Otoko. <gasps> oh, look at all these people, so happy, not knowing what awaits their doom. But isn't anyone, like, looking up in the sky? <laughs> You know, I guess they're too happy having fun on land. Oh god damn, that must hurt. That must hurt more than a rock falling on his head. Yeah, he's like, don't doubt Luffy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just let Luffy focus on the Kaido. Y'all handle the rest. I guess, since it's not right above it, they don't see it. Three at once? <sighs> giddy giddy! That was close. <laughs> Without the music, it's kind of cringe. <laughs> Come on, let Sanji have another moment. Like, this soundtrack makes it feel like, come on, Sanji, you gotta come back, move. Ooh. Hmm? Is he wearing the Germa suit? What? Y 
You good, Sanji, right? Like, we know Zoro's gonna, you know, do a great job. But, yeah. Ooh, look at that sword, the aqua and purple colors. Oh. It's been a while since I heard that attack. Mm. Careful not to block. It's gonna cut through you, King. It's like, oh, the horns might be his pride, so. See Zoro's like panda eyes. Oh, God. Uh-oh, he got a humanoid, beast humanoid form, huh? Or he's just turning back into the pterodon. Oh no, it's a half form. Oh, that looks so scary. Oh my god, that's so terrifying how big the wing is, like a gargoyle. Curio. Demonstration. Oh. And I don't think there's any escaping this. Uh, yeah, you can't hide through buildings. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck you, Chopper. You got a cute girl carrying you. Tristan. Oh, oh, let it cut, Queen. Yeah! <laughs> My ass took a serious ball! <laughs> Damn that wing attack. Oh! Nice to catch you. Now, like, even though he's strong, Zoro's, like, up for the for fight, as usual. That's your own fault for not paying attention. Who <laughs> wish it was your neck? <laughs> Don't you have hockey? Can't you sense it, queen? Oh, they know what's up. Mmm, his unmasked face. Are we gonna have a Katakuri moment where, like, underneath the mask, it's, like, not what you expect? Uh-oh, you said bean smoke. Dance with you. That was very close. Yeah, I was just saying the suit earlier because he was saying how he might have some broken bones. How's that holding up? I think you gotta use the suit, man. But his pride don't want to show him the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I forgot he said that. What's that? Yeah, whenever they do like the color switch, it's like, hmm. I think he might have to use it later, like if it targets one of the other straw hats. Nice. Remember that scene in Jurassic Park 3 where the pterodactyl is like walking on the bridge? <laughs> I love the trust. And Frank's like, all right, how it suits yourself. Oh, damn, all the lights turned on. <laughs> it looks like it's about to take a shit. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, he's un unarmed. Ah! Oh, underneath? We see his skin. I didn't think he'd look like that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm almost catch him. Oh. Whew. Well, open space. At least you won't hit the other samurais. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he has white hair underneath. Who could he be? Huh. Oh my god, that episode felt like t one minute. That was so fast. And I feel like not much happened. <laughs> ah. Science disaster. Da -da 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 oh, poor Chopper. Oh, shoot. Uh, we didn't see anything. I need to avoid the title. I just saw Sanji's and then looked away. And we stop right here. Okay, I'ma say this episode was like a 6 or a 7. Not a lot happened, but you can't blame Sanji and Zoro to have like a quick fight. They are up against like the second of the second in command of Kaido. So of course this is gonna be a tough fight. Like you can't expect them to like have an easy fight. And this episode demonstrates how strong King is. I mean, Queen is still kind of joking around, playing with Sanji, but he's just egging him on to show Sanji's real power. But Sanji, of course, doesn't want to use it because he doesn't want to be associated with his Vince book name. Maybe the next episode. I know we are definitely getting more Sanji's backstory for the next episode because it's kind of leading to it. Something with the Germa's, uh, uh, suit I think I don't know like they he there's like at least twice Sanji got this sensation and then like he's thinking in his head like oh my body like bone should be broken and like the color just kind of like turned like green purple orange kind of thing and he's wondering hey eh, what's what's going on so there's something up with Sanji internally I'm not I'm not too sure maybe like the suit is protecting him underneath and he's wondering why his bones aren't broken I don't know. Or maybe there's a secret ab ability with the suit that he hasn't shown yet. Because I think so far he just used the invisibility. Or it's just for defense. He tries not to use the suit for off offense. Although I know he fought page one a while back. But I don't remember if he like 
but I don't really remember that fight too well. Anyways, um, back to the Zoro part. Z Zoro managed to like, you know, take off part of the horn, but I guess it also somewhere during the fight, a chunk of King's mask also came off. I don't know why. I thought he looked like totally different. I didn't expect him to be actually a human underneath. Like I was like, whoa, he had like human skin and white hair. I don't know. I thought I just thought he'd be a creature. I don't know. So I, I guess when his mask is revealed, it's gonna be some, like, maybe he's like a super pretty boy underneath or something. Like, it's gonna be totally off, because I feel like One Piece loves to do that. But that's not a big issue. The big issue is, like, he's such a threat that, like, the moment the horn, the mask got clipped off, uh, he, he changed into his beauty, I think it's a beast humanoid form. It's mostly just, like, his arms became huge, gigantic wings that, like, look so t titanic and terrifying and he just every every slash of the wing sends like waves of uh, gust or something that like hits the samurai slices building and half very dangerous and one of them manages to hit queen's ass <laughs> he he got that coming for him i mean like you know you should have you should use your hockey to sense it but at least i mean he's still in his dragon for a uh, dino form so it doesn't do much damage and uh speaking of dragons going back to momo he's still trying to get used to his powers learning it like he's still falling and crashing trying to avoid it and this is a good practice for him and yamato also helps to like deflect if any actually goes near his head and uh yeah they, he said he's like five minutes away from onigashima so they gotta quickly figure out or like yamato says he's gotta like use his own clouds make his own cloud stronger than Kaido's, whose clouds are kind of weakening be due to Luffy fighting him. And uh, it's kind of like giving you the sense that Luffy, eh, I wouldn't say equal level, but like he's getting there. Like Luffy says the last episode, as long as he's still alive, he's going to keep coming back and uh, keep fighting back. And hopefully that will just make Kaido a little bit weaker more tired out and like Luffy a little bit strong because like as Luffy once said whenever he comes back he gets a little stronger and yeah they're gonna do whatever it takes to stop uh Onigashima from falling onto the capital maybe it's gonna fall in the water or I don't I think they're already past the sea so I'm not sure if it's gonna have to fall in a nearby town or what but they gotta land it softly because there's a lot of bombs on the island bombs cannons that could go off detonate if it lands really harshly we'll have to continue for a later time like i feel i felt this episode was a little slow and they also used a couple flashbacks yeah so that's why i'm giving it like a six or seven it was just okay and yeah that is pretty much it for the reaction feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts what do you think about this episode feel free to let me know and i'll be sure to read all your comments and see you guys for the next reaction peace out